Over the next five to ten minutes, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how Palo Alto Networks can help reduce the cost and complexity of PCI compliance. For purposes of review, PCI compliance is not optional. Any company that accepts credit cards must be PCI compliant. Compliance is the process of applying technology and best practices to protect cardholder data. That is the ultimate goal. Companies that are not compliant may incur financial penalties from the card vendors. The process of becoming compliant means that an auditor must come out on site, usually a third party auditor, and he reviews the policies and procedures that have been put in place to, to protect the cardholder data and then issues a report of compliance. Obviously, any type of an audit can be costly and complex, particularly if it encompasses the entire network. In a recent update to the PCI DSS documentation, they've, they've said that if you segment the network and you isolate the cardholder data in one of those secure segments, the audit scope can be reduced. So let's take a look at the value of network segmentation. On the left hand side, the entire network might be open to scope because none of it is segmented. The cardholder data is accessible by the infrastructure servers and all the users and the development servers and so on. So the entire scope of that network uh, is open to audit. You look on the right hand side, we've got finance users in a secure uh, segment uh, and we've got the cardholder servers uh, isolated so that none of the other traffic or none of the other users uh, can have access to that cardholder data. So if you're able to prove that the cardholder data is isolated in this, this manner, then only that traffic and only those servers and only those users fall within the audit scope. So you dramatically reduce the cost and complexity of an audit. None of the other servers need to be looked at, none of the other users need to be monitored, uh, so on and so forth. So the labor involved, the number of servers involved, the traffic analysis involved, everything is dramatically reduced in terms of cost and complexity. From a security perspective, it's going to be uh, obviously a little bit easier to protect the cardholder data if it's isolated in this manner. And if an incident occurs, it's going to be a little bit easier to investigate it from a forensics perspective. So let's take a look at the requirements for uh, segmentation with respect to PCI. You need to be flexible and easy to use. One way that you're able to segment the network is using a series of VLANs, IP address uh, ranges, inter interfaces, or a combination thereof. This, this helps reduce the amount of physical re-architecting that might occur on the network. Policies need to be applied then to control the traffic based on the applications, not just the ports. Uh, and then inspect that traffic for threats and unauthorized transfer of the cardholder data. And all of these policies need to be user-based. Uh, that's, uh, that's a key requirement, really, uh, tying into Active Directory and using that information as opposed to IP addresses is a very important point uh, to uh, help reduce the scope of an audit and reduce the complexity. Obviously, proving that these policies are in place through logging and reporting is a critical element. The auditors need to be able to review that information, see what's being done, see the traffic traversing that segment, um, and then uh, the report of compliance is issued. Uh, to do all this, uh, at the core of the network where the cardholder data is typically stored, uh, it needs to be high performance in order to ensure business continuity. In terms of the existing technology, uh, legacy firewalls uh, as well as their firewalls help helpers really have uh, some severe limitations to, uh, to, to achieve these, these goals. Legacy firewalls are, 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 are able to typically segment the network in a rudimentary manner, but the policies that they apply to those segments are typically port and protocol based as opposed to application based. Rely, they rely on IP addresses as opposed to the actual user identity from Active Directory. And then they may require uh, secondary platforms to inspect the content. All of this makes management uh, cumbersome and uh, log correlation difficult for the auditors. Helpers, uh, firewall helpers are really of no help. 
they're not designed to enforce policy. They're designed to help the firewall, to bolster the, 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 the firewall. They aren't really designed to segment the network, and then they can't really understand uh, applications, uh, the, the relationship between applications, uh, threats, and, and users. And make this therefore makes it impossible to produce the reports and logs needed for audit purposes. Palo Alto Network's next generation firewall fixes uh, these problems. It, it really changes the game using a, a, a zone based architecture and a combination of uh, policy based control over the applications, the users, and the content. We are able to uh, help dr help companies dramatically reduce the scope and complexity uh, of a PCI compliance audit. Uh, policies can be applied to control uh, specific applications entering and exiting uh, the zones. Uh, we can then inspect the traffic bidirectionally uh, inbound for threats and outbound for the transfer uh, of, of cardholder data. We're able to then apply those policies uh, on the specific users and groups, uh, pulling the identity from Active Directory uh, so that we can see who's accessing that, accessing that information and we're able to log and report all of that information so that the auditors can review it. And obviously the ability to operate at 10 gig uh, firewall throughput across 24 uh, 1 gig ports means that we can sit at the core of the network and uh, without becoming a bottleneck. Let's take a look at, a, at an example of how Palo Alto Networks might be used to isolate cardholder data. So what we have on the right hand side here is the finance users uh, isolated uh, in a, uh, a segment, a secure zone, uh, the cardholder data segment is isolated in a secure zone and then the WAN and internet traffic is isolated as well. So what we have here in the policy on the lower uh, part of the screen, the rule one, uh, the PCI rule says that only finance users using Oracle can access the cardholder servers. So the source zone to the destination zone is only finance users and Oracle and then we are uh, protecting the traffic from threats and we're monitoring it for outbound uh, transfer of cardholder data using our data filtering capabilities. Rule two is deny and block all else. Deny and log all else. One of the things that auditors are, are looking for when they come out on site is uh, specific rules that allow only specific users and specific applications to access cardholder data and then they are looking for the uh, deny all else rule. This is what we are able to deliver through our zone based architecture and our policy based control over applications, users and content. So in summary, we are able to help reduce the cost and complexity of PCI audits using a flexible zone based architecture and our policy control over applications, users and content. The logging and reporting is on box uh, or can be offloaded to a syslog server that uh, allows you to prove that the cardholder data has been isolated and that the policy controls are in place. Performance uh, is, is unmatched in the current uh, marketplace. Up to 10 gig uh, firewall throughput and 24 1 gig ports to eliminate bottlenecks. In summary, we can dramatically reduce the cost and complexity of a PCI audit by implementing a Palo Alto Networks firewall. Thanks for your time.